Ooh, half down and generate. Let me grab you a napkin. Wait, is this time some kind of wrap? Is uh -huh. sushi wrap? This should look kind of good. It's spicy. We've seen this. This oh is my God, fire. Their official store. A store? Okay. We do a promo for them. Yo, make sure y'all um not go watch it, but Netflix hit us up. We're about to go see what this is. Okay, Nizi Gang. So I know that we said we were gonna get some food, but I just decided I wanted to do something like sweet and romantic for you. Mm -hmm. So I told her, oh, babe, just let me make you something to eat. She ran to do a few things in the meantime. So I'm gonna make something that I've actually made this a bunch of times, mm -hmm. but have not had the opportunity to make it for her yet. And yeah, you know she loves to eat, so I think she's gonna really love this. Okay, so let me show you all what I'm gonna make. Okay, so. So this is a traditional cuisine that I guarantee Yeezy has never had because honestly it has been passed down for generations in my family and it honestly is only eaten on like special occasions like for weddings and birthdays sometimes like but it has to be like your 100th birthday or something like that because it's that special and it only takes six ingredients but you know I'm so in love with her that I feel like now's the best time to do it you know now's the best time to let her try this you know family heirloom of a recipe so if you guys want to try this with me here's how you do it okay so you want to start with a skillet like this put it on like medium high heat and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil so this dish is honestly a very sweet and spicy and i feel like that is a huge reason why it's looked at as like a romantic dish um so we're gonna start off by putting dry chili flakes in the olive oil to marinate so we've got one from before in there okay so we add some of those in there you only need about six and then i know this sounds weird but we're gonna follow it up with some maple syrup for the sweetness um it's gonna add a very distinctive taste to the dish okay so you only need about two tablespoons of that yes look how good this is looking okay so you see the maple syrup is condensing and the hot chili peppers is making it sweet and spicy okay so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create crispy rice that goes within the sweet and spicy taste so you want to take uncooked rice okay you don't want to boil it first and you want to add it straight and marinate inside of those juices now while that is cooking over there okay making the best crispy rice you've ever seen we're going to make something on the side okay and for this you're going to need tuna okay you need two types of tuna you're going to need some um this flavor is like a smoked tuna and you're also going to need like a thai chili tuna okay and we're gonna put those on the bowl mix it together okay so we got the tuna in there and the next step is we're going to pour some sweet and spicy pickles juice inside the tuna and you want to drop a few pickles in there as well mm, so good okay you guys have to trust the process okay i know it seems a little crazy but trust me this is going to be the best thing that you ever make and that you ever taste. Um, this is looking great over here. Okay, you see how the, the chili is starting to blacken. Okay, and so is the rice. Okay, you want it to be borderline burnt. Okay, because I feel like that's where the real taste comes from. Whenever we boil and make rice soft, it takes all of that natural flavor away from it. So the next step that you're going to do is is you're going to need some chili bean soup okay and we're going to add the chili bean soup into the tuna and pickle marinade yes lord look at this ah, it's looking so good honestly my mom would be so proud because this is not an easy dish to master okay okay so now spilling it all 
right, so now that we have that mix, oh my God, delicious. We're going to add a little bit of tanginess with, um, use any type of mustard, really. I just have this yellow mustard. So we're gonna go ahead, oh, I just put the water in. Oh my goodness, I don't wanna ruin it. So mix the mustard first, I guess. And you put some mustard. And to be honest, the watery part of the mustard actually probably makes it a little better. So if you do actually get it in there, it's okay. Don't trip. Um, the water makes it even more soupy. So we're gonna mix that up and move on to the next step. We're almost done, guys. This is like one of the easiest dishes to make, um, but it's so good. Now that the soup-like marinade is done, um, or at least we mixed it all together, we're going to go ahead and pop it in the microwave. And the microwave is actually a really good um, way to cook this. I think when you make it on the stove, it just doesn't do it right. So the microwave is a very important step to cooking the marinade. You're gonna put that on for 30 seconds and that's it. We like it lukewarm, okay? Um, and then you are going to need for the last step to prepare your rolls, you're gonna need some sushi rolls, okay? So this is um seaweed sushi rolls and let me show you what we're gonna do with that. Okay guys, so this is the last step and honestly what makes the dish, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, oh, this is perfect. You see how hard this is? Um, Let me just pick up a piece, my hands are clean. And you see how it's like burnt almost, but it's not burnt, it looks like that, but it's honestly the sugar just coming together. So it should come off of the pot like this, okay? If it doesn't, you didn't do it right. We're gonna put that inside of the sushi roll, save that for later because I know she's gonna want more. And the next thing we're gonna put is some frozen cherries and you want the right ones. You make sure they're very high quality. These ones are from Trader Joe's. We're going to put a bunch of frozen cherries and they have to be frozen solid, okay? Because if they're not, it's gonna mess up the whole dish. They'll start watering on the rice and it, it'll be a mess, okay? We're gonna go ahead and put high grade quality chia seeds. You want a bunch of those, okay? You put that and then I'm gonna mess, oh my God. This is the ramen packet, okay? It's the lime chili shrimp flavor, but honestly you can use any flavor that you want, but her flavor, but her favorite flavor of ramen is the lime chili shrimp. So I know this is gonna add a lot of flavor. We're gonna put that on top and top it off with cayenne pepper. And you want a lot of that, okay? And voila, okay, look how amazing this looks. And the goal is to dip this into um, the tuna marinade that we made. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna actually set up some candles and stuff to make this like very romantic. And I guess just wait for her to get here. I'm excited, I'm honestly kind of nervous. Um, I, I don't know, okay, should I change or? You ready? I'm ready for you. <laughs> okay, so this dish, what's, baby. What's Wait, name? don't try to look. Birthday coming up. Is it my birthday or my birthday? I know. Okay, well, actually, it's funny that you say that. It's because this dish that I made for you is a traditional dish in my family. And honestly, it's very sacred and stuff. And it's only meant for, like you know, weddings, like husband and wife, or wife and wife, and... Um, so what today is, why are you, why are you doing it for me? I, I just, I really wanted to show you my, like, commitment to you, and that, in my head, we're already married. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Um, What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What? You, you recording me eating? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Should I light the candles? The candles, baby? I get to candy cans? You ain't even used these since your... Shit, you ain't never used them before. Okay, yeah. Oh, man. Lisa getting on me excited. She trying to, you know, put in type of video. I already know how this going in. Oh, there isn't actually even a name. It's just oh. been passed down and generated. We are being happy as well. Wait, is this some kind of wrap? Uh -huh. A sushi wrap? This should look kind of good. It's spicy. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so wait, what is it? What is it? Okay, you have to have. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Whoa! What you trying to eat? Right, eat your game? Okay, so like, y'all know I'm greedy. Y'all know I'm greedy. Okay, I, I have better. to adjust the camera a little bit so you guys can actually see what she's eating. So traditionally, we actually would drink apple cider vinegar on the side. Okay, we don't have to do that. We're not going to do that because I'm actually fresh out of apple cider vinegar. But we are going to drink that's apple. Your, that's your white say. <laughs> We're going to actually drink just apple cider on the side. So it's supposed to bring in the same vibe. Um... So we're gonna have some apple cider. Yo, baby, this smells oh. fire. Yo, have you have you ever used these? Yeah, I have. All right, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna take a mouthful of the apple cider vinegar. Why are you talking like an infomercial? <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take an apple cider vinegar. Yay! Okay, come on. Wait, wait. It's supposed to be romantic. You All don't right, even baby. do this on their wedding day. Come on now, you know I'm a clown. I'm a clown at anything you do. I'm just on Well, pretend club. this is our wedding day. So what we're gonna do okay. is we take a mouthful of the apple cider or you apple cider right? vinegar. Okay. You put some in your mouth. I know. Okay, put it in your mouth. Okay, hold it. You gotta swish it around. So baby, seriously. I didn't say swallow. Wait, it's like taste my fucking lunch. Oh baby stop. I taste my lunch. It's just awkward. Swish it around. Chill. It's that time of the month. No, it's not that time of the month. You need to take this freaking seriously. Baby, I was trying to give you an excuse, babe. Oh, I'm not going to let you go. No, we ain't going. No, baby, come on. Don't no, play. why are you acting like this, bro? This is serious. Baby, I'm sorry. This means a lot to me. I'm sorry, we don't go. I literally told you. Please take this seriously, and you have to do what I say. Or else it's literally, I feel like my freaking ancestors are turning over in their grave right now. Okay, I think you're done swallow. All right, we're gonna try this again. Are you sure you wanna do this? Like, I'm questioning everything right now. I'm questioning why you think, why you feel upset, but I'm joking, hold on. You can't joke about this. You gotta take a mouthful of the apple cider. You swish it around in your mouth. And as you still have it in your mouth, you take a bite of the marinade. Oh, do that. You have to put your head back on me. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, baby. I can't do it at the same time. I'm trying, babe. Look, look, look. Okay, I'm a little bit. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. And it's supposed to be apple cider vinegar. This is all wrong. Oh, 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 damn it. Mm. It tastes sweet. You like it? I mean, it just tastes like juice and meat. That's just the first bite. But I feel like I can't taste it seriously though. I don't want to taste it, baby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually mainly meant for um It looks aging, baby. It's not. I mean you're whack. Um, so what you wanna do is you can eat it a few ways. One okay. of the ways you can eat it is you can take your rice curds okay. and you can go ahead and dip the rice curd into here and scoop some of the tuna okay um but you have to actually make sure you have a cherry on it so that's a cherry mm -hmm. wait cherry with rice this is different y'all it's different for me and i'm not like saying it like it's a bad thing baby it's just different you know me i can my stomach can barely take anything so it's just like it's just awkward i got you Alright, so we gotta make sure we get some of the marinade um, to the rice curd. <laughs> this is the real first bite because that was just to cleanse your palate yeah. when you did it first. Wait, do I eat the cherry at the same time? Yes. Or? No, you have to eat the meat. I can eat the cherry with you rice. You have to eat it at Oh, fuck! I got pepper. 
water in my eye. Ah. You okay? Ow. You okay? Ah, what you do okay? you think? Yeah, you did burn me. Did you burn it? You okay, baby? Uh, you okay? No. No, we're not running the camera. Okay, we don't show you this. Oh my gosh! What? I texted my mom and I told her that I was making you such a bitch. And she texted me back and said, Wow, I really guess she's the one who should um, make a video of her. No, no, we just got killed. She baby saw. No, she really no. wants to see this. Okay, I'm doing? just glad she reacted like that. I was nervous she was going to be upset that she wasn't here for it. Baby, they were never going to get that. Ew, stop. No, baby. Baby. You gotta take a bitch. You have to take um, a bite. <laughs> Tell my mama how excited you are. Hey, Mama Rhonda. So I'm trying the like family recipe. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how to fold it, but it's it's heat. It's okay. It's yeah. here busting, Mama Rhonda. It's so you gotta, busting. You gotta dip it in, in the little pour little some pour a little something like that. Yeah. Yep. You see me, Mama Rhonda? Stop. Dude, 
this shit is, you fucked up the recipe, baby. There ain't no goddamn way that this shit should be that ass, bro. This shit is disrespectful to your cooking. Baby, you didn't follow it right. You burnt it or something, bro. This shit is black. My guy, bro. You had me eat that. Like, baby, I think you fucked up. I'm not even trying to be re- mean. I'm really being real right now. This shit is weird. Get out. Yeah, I'm not getting out. Yeah, you're being dramatic. Shut up. You're going to be lucky if you ever see me again. Yeah. Really? Stop. What do you mean, dramatic? Bro, are you, are you really serious? Yeah. You really serious? Get out! Are you really serious? Get out! You're cleaning this shit up. I'm not. All right, let's clean it up then. <clears throat> this shit is dirty. Don't ever make this shit for nobody. You need to finish it. Oh, you got it. You need to finish it. No. Finish the. Babe, finish it. Stop trying to finish it. Finish the mouth. food. Stop. Finish it easy. Stop finish it. Me. Stop. Finish it. You know what? Stop. Put that shit down. Finish it, babe. What the? <laughs> this shit is nasty. I hope you think it was some like kind of joke or nothing, because I literally. That shit was ass, bro. Finish it. I'm not finishing that shit, bro. You crackhead. You crackhead. That shit is fucking ass, bro. What is that? It's that like random it? shit I just gave. See, I knew it, bro. <laughs> Chill out. Thanks. Hey. So what is this exactly? What is this really? What is this really? Literally the, the, the most is. random, disgusting thing I could come up with. You had me eating this shit. Like, <laughs> hype, hype as hell. You had me hype as hell. You no, know, I was dying laughing when you freaking put the apple cider in your mouth and was trying to put that in your mouth at the same time. This wasn't even that bad until I tasted it the second time. When I tasted it without the fucking juice, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what is this? Do you know what's in that? What is this? It's like fire, bro. I don't even know. Pickle juice, mustard. Tuna, Hell no, chili, bro. like disrespect. I was gonna be nice too. Like usually I'm nice, but I literally almost threw up. I was just mad. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, you know when you just mad, you can't even be nice. I'm you. I literally would have just tried to pretend. Like you know me, I would have at least tried to pretend, but I couldn't even pretend. This shit was so fucking nasty, and it was like the burnt this shit. Like it was spicy, but all I tasted was some charcoal. Like ugh. it made sweet cherries at the same time and tuna. I'm like, oh hell no, this was weird, bro. Maisie, hey, what would you do? Like, wh- wh- first of all, what were you thinking? When I was making all this stuff, because I was serious making? with them too. Bro, yes, what? I was acting so serious the whole time while I was making. I'm like, okay, then we're gonna put this. Like, what were y'all thinking? Hell no, they knew. They fucking knew. <laughs> Gotta go. Make sure y'all subscribe. <laughs>